Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. Good morning to all of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Dear brethren, let us acknowledge all our sins and failures and ask God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adjure you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all, by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You say the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember, remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember, remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing, do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important 
than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not but afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes, are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not let her change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are in the 26th Sunday of the Ordinary Time. And we find here a very famous saying, action speaks louder than the words. And action is very important in our life. And the similar situation we find in today's Gospel Jesus explains the parable of two sons and both of them say yes to the word but there is difference in action. First son says no but through his action he proves the words and the second son he says yes to the word but he failed to prove through his action. Yes, my dear friends. So also, it is are applicable in our life. And to complete the action, obedience is very much required as a Catholic, as a followers of Jesus Christ. And it is the true obedience that leads into action and helps us to fulfill the will of God in our life. And today, the same question is being asked in our life. Do I follow the action more than the words? Yes, my dear friends, today let us specially reflect and see into our life. How do we or how do I follow Jesus through my obedience or am I just like this second son who says yes but in action he does not prove. If not, today especially let us ask the special grace from God that the Holy Spirit will help us to fulfill the plan of God by our actions in our life and be always a doers than the listeners. Amen.
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us place all our prayers and petitions at the feet of Jesus. For Pope Francis, as he challenges us to show mercy, as we ask God to show us mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all struggling to make ends meet due to the coronavirus, and for all who work to meet their needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as a parish family may respond to the needs of God's children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may, that we may recognize Jesus as he comes to us in the poor, the sick, the lonely, and the forgotten, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be comforted and healed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our parish family, especially those that are written in our petition book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may enjoy eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Jonathan Brzezinski, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions we hold in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty ever-living God, we bring all these prayers and petitions at your feet, if these are in accordance with your will, grant them, Lord. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid upon before us through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess a resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go for the masses and dead. Thanks to all of you and have a beautiful day. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the LaSant Family and Samsung Productions. Sun Productions' new website, ssptv.com, is the place to book your next professional video production. We have the right tools for the job. Commercials, talk shows, medical, political, weddings, live events, and much more. The Socializer One can help you with your social media marketing. You can also view any of our SSPTV original shows like SSPTV News, The Sam LaSant Show, The Girls, and Out of Left Field. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on any of our social media outlets. ssptv.com. Are you ready for your close-up? When two people come together and enter into the sacrament of marriage, they echo the love of God that is indestructible. Take you, Michelle, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you, Michelle. And honor you. And honor you all the days of my life.
I, Michelle, take you, Adam, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you, Adam, and honor you all the days of my life. went from a, a chance meeting, maybe on a beach, maybe on a bar, wherever you guys met down in Panama City, and you turned it into a true love. Actually, Adam called his mother that night in a semi-inebriated state and said clearly, I just met the girl that I'm going to marry. And true love is a treasure. Cherish it, nurture it, defend it because with true love, you won't long for anything else. When I think of Michelle, you know, I think of the beautiful, intelligent, sophisticated woman that she's become. Te guero y estoy muy orgulloso de te. I think I just told her I love her and I'm very proud of her. Samsung Productions new website ssptv.com is the place to book your next professional video production. We have the right tools for the job. Commercials, talk shows, medical, political, weddings, live events and much more. The Socializer One can help you with your social media marketing. You can also view any of our SSPTV original shows like SSPTV News, The Sam LaSant Show, The Girls and Out of Left Field. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on any of our social media outlets. ssptv.com. Are you ready for your close up? Recently engaged? Good, then we can help. Samson Productions can capture your dream day on video so you can remember it for the rest of your life using multiple cameras and over 20 years of experience. We also have custom pricing. Get in touch with Sam LaSan Jr. at 570-956-8285 or by email at samjr at ssptv.com. See for yourself why so many brides choose Samson Wedding Videos.